The diagnosis of bladder cancer ultimately involves visually inspecting the bladder and taking a biopsy for tissue examination. The, the lining of the urinary tract, however, from the bladder all the way up through the kidneys is a continuous lining we call the urothelium. Patients who have blood in the urine, because the source is not obvious at the beginning, warrant a full evaluation of the entire urinary tract. This typically involves imaging studies to assess the kidneys and the tubes that drain the kidneys down to the bladder called the ureters, and an endoscopic examination of the bladder, which is termed cystoscopy. Most commonly, a CT scan is obtained to evaluate the status of the kidneys and ureters. The initial cystoscopic evaluation is typically done in the urologist's office using a flexible scope under local anesthesia. If an abnormality is identified that is a cause for concern of bladder cancer, the patient is then scheduled to have a more detailed examination done in the hospital setting under anesthesia. This procedure um, is typically called a transurethral resection, meaning that the scope is placed pre-urethra, there are no incisions made, but the urologist is able to place a scope through the urethra into the bladder and actually biopsy and scrape the tumor from the bladder. This specimen is then retrieved and carefully analyzed under the microscope to determine the particular uh, type of bladder cancer and make plans for further management.